Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? We are live. Welcome to Gilligan's Island. The main event. The main event. I hope you guys are ready. Prime time for everyone. (laughs) Yeah, this could not be a better time for anyone, especially Apollo, who hasn't really slept, or me, who woke up at 5.30 in the morning to do this run. We'll see what we'll see what happens. All right. Relax there, Death Devil. I see that. I see that. All right, guys, you ready for some Gilligan's Islands? We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, you gotta love that. All right, there we go. All right, so this is Gilligan's Islands. I you play the skipper in this game. You always have to get hit by that bird. That is, that's for good luck. And Gilligan did as well. So that no, we know the run is now blessed. It's a good start. Good start. So we did this run last year at last Best of Ness uh, as a race against Shaddy, and it went pretty darn well. The main feedback I got was uh, it was a good race, but I have no idea what was happening. So we can try to do better this year, <laughs> since it's a solo run, to talk about what the heck is happening here. Um, so like I said, you play as Gil as a skipper and Gilligan follows you everywhere you go. And he tries to run away from you. He falls down pits. He is generally just a complete and total pain in the butt. And if you do not have him for each step in this, uh, quest, if you will, you will not be able to proceed. Nobody will talk to you if Gilligan's not with you. You can't, you just can't do anything if Gilligan's not with you. Yeah, so basically what we have here is one very long escort mission. Think of the worst escort mission in any game that you've played. It's come from this. This is the OG escort mission. Wait for someone to walk really slow behind you. Try to find them. Right, Don't let them it. get out of your sight. Okay, good. I, I, in the practice, I froze the game up right there. So <laughs> This game has like a couple of really bad glitches in it. Um, one of which is... If you are moving between these screens when the Gilligan text comes up, the game just locks up. So you have to be prepared for that. Um, yeah, the, the other thing is that just for some reason between levels, um, the game can just lock up for no reason. So if uh, we'll hope that doesn't happen, but I have passwords if it does, so we'll be all right. But man, it, it really sucks in a speed run if you're doing well and then the, le- the next level just doesn't load and you're just listening to the music in sadness looking at your gold splits oh we got we got a big Andy. raid coming in for the Gilligan oh you guys are ready Everyone's you heard the Gilligan, the Gilligan he's Gilligan. like I'm cutting the stream I'm cutting the stream Gilligan's on welcome raiders um, what you actually saw before was uh, I'm pretty sure Aaron used used the rope and if Gilgan does get lost you'd have to go find him but if you have the rope you can magically pull him back to you so there will be times where Aaron depending on how many ropes he randomly finds throughout this run uh, he might just purposely let Gilgan do his own thing not worry about losing him and then uh, kind of rejuvenate his buddy right. behind him at a moment's notice so I, I, as you can see, um, oh yes, another rope. So as you can see, um, in fact, here, we'll use one right here and just see you later, Gilligan. So I just threw him down the pit. It's fine. We don't care that we lost Gilligan. We will bring him back with a rope. Um, so as you can see, not having Gilligan and not having to wait for him, it just it's so freeing. You can just go as fast as you want. It's like you're playing an actual video game and you can just burn rubber and have a good time. Yeah, so the more the more ropes he finds, the and more just, times he can let you go. I need Boom. I need a nice I need for everyone need some help. Give Aaron your energy. We got a hope for rope. We are hope for rope. And this is Team uh, Hope for Rope. Here's Apollo's favorite boss here. The Kong. Uh, it's fine. I, I assume Kong is gonna win. Kong never I just loses whooped this. Kong's butt. I don't think I don't I don't think so. I don't And I can tell you no, that if if you were to try to do that fight it would not go well. Actually, shoot it this way. Uh, you have to those 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 hits. I, I kid you not, are very precise. <laughs> and if you just sit there and mash the button, that fight will take you like two and a half minutes long. It's it's ridiculous. It's the type of uh, but high it, skill level inputs <laughs> that you'll see 
in the best of NES marathon 2019. That was one of the best uh, the, the best improvements in this entire run was is figuring out um, not to mash the button. All right. So at this point, um, this whole thing was we were trying to find a transmitter and we we found it. The the guy had it. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got a problem. All right, get down from the get down from the tree, Gilligan. Gilligan, he's gone. He's out of here. So forget this. You talk right, about you don't want me. Forget it. How many oh, ropes we got? We got one mind. rope. All right, we're gonna be all right. Um, let's go this way. I was yeah, trying. So I was I... trying to talk too much, and I I was going the right way, and then I wasn't. So this is fine. We're ahead of schedule, folks. It's no problem at all. Yeah, this is. This we're gonna is correct it right here. Calculated. This is planned. Making sure Nobody knows that I went the wrong perfect. way. The, guys, this is the right way. Nobody knows yeah. the difference. Scenic route. We just wanted to show it off for the marathon. I just um, wanted to but show yeah, you. like I said, not only is this a big, an entire escort mission game, it's also a collection quest game because in order to complete the game, you are doing collection quests while doing an escort quest. Instead of everyone talking to each other and being a normal, you know, family stuck on an island you have to go oh i gotta go see the professor the professor wants me to go see marianne to cook some dinner oh now i gotta go get some food bring it to marianne and then bring it back oh there's some wood that needs to be chopped oh the hollows don't want to chop the wood so we got to collect the materials so so right now i have a, a saw in a game you're gonna see the best tree cutting you've ever seen in your life Are you ready boom done we did impressive. it. Impressive. All right. Impressive. The only problem is I did waste that rope, so we're going to have to wait for Gilligan to uh, come out of this. Oh, no, we don't. The game heard me. Hope for rope. It worked. Guys, those, it are, the, worked. those are the moments that save a speed run. Sometimes you just go for it, and then the rope shows up, and you're just like, we did it. Okay. So the whole point here is they were trying to do something, get with the transmitter. It all failed. And they said, all right, well, we'll just right, let's just build a shelter for the night. And that's what we did. We got that wood from the tree, and we're going to build the shelter. And they let Gilligan pick where the shelter would be. All right, so they let him pick. So it's not his fault now that everybody's going to get mad at him. It doesn't make any sense. All right, so they wake up, and their shelter's floated away into the water. Poor Great. And they're all or mad Gilligan. at Gilligan. Why would you leave that up to Gilligan? I mean, honestly. Okay, like any good game, there's a countdown screen here. So in theory, having less life, having less food, ropes at the end of the level, if you optimize that well, this goes a little quicker. Now, I don't want to mash the button here because some, somehow mashing the button in the exact precise way is what freezes the game up when the next level loads. So all we want to do is see the next level load. And we did. We're good. We're on. All right, Apollo, what go. is what are we doing in this level? Episode two. So basically the levels are kind of like episodes. So in episode two, Marianne has been taken by headhunters. So now we have to save Marianne. And Gilligan tries to save her, but hits his head on a rock and passes out. Um, and this is actually, I, I noticed in chat, there's some people that said in Europe, there's some people that are not familiar with Gilligan. What? Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. So there's, there's, there's a few of them saying that. So this is the perfect time to show off some Gilligan's Island. Uh, but basically, it's just a show where a uh, group was on. You had Skipper. He's the skipper of the the boat. Yeah, this is a TV show. Uh, this is on a, some random island. This is a TV show from the '60s. Um, very old show, and it, it gets stuck around for this in the in the 70s as well and had some resurgence there they did some like tv movies and things like that um but yeah it's just about people being uh castaways on an island that they got lost um so they don't really know each other in advance and uh trying to get along on this island and trying to get their way out of it and so this game came out in 1989 i think um way past relevance of the show and uh my theory is that they made this game in hopes that grandmas would buy it for their grandsons. Um, because they had fond memories of the game. 
That's my. I mean, theory. it was it was still airing a decent amount though, right? Because I mean, I I used to watch it a lot, and I mean, I'm. I've only met one not person. Not that old. Yeah, I mean, I saw in the reruns. They even had an animated yeah. series as well. I don't remember um, the animated. I I did I did I've only talked to one person who who owned this game as a kid, and I said, "How'd you get it?" And they said, "Grandma." Okay, there's our first Thanks. instance there of Gilligan running away, and I got a rope to replace it. So perfect. Every, Hope everything's for rope. great. There it is. So the, as you can see, <laughs> Gilligan will just run away, and he's gone. But we'll bring him Hope right back. Rope. The hope is dope. Yeah, so um, uh, those characters there. So the characters then, if you're not familiar, you have Skipper, Gilligan. Gilligan is like the dumb the dumb one, but, you know, the funny one. He's the comedic relief. Uh, you have the professor who's the smart one. He makes all the gadgets on the island. You know, makes stuff like radios out of coconuts. Um, what was it? He said Ginger. She's what, the movie star? Um, uh, yeah. Yes. Marianne, what was Mar was Marianne anything specific? Or I don't just... know. This game seems to imply that she was some sort of cook. I don't know if mm. that's true. <laughs> I mean, no comment. Uh, yeah, and then you have the the Howells, Mrs. and Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Howell, who's the stereotypical like millionaire, happen to be washed off on on this island now, but they still think that everyone there is should be working for them. So. Yeah, they're super rich, which is, you know, serves no purpose on an island, but uh, they make very funny situations from that. Um, unfortunately, um, the question of Marianne or Ginger does not apply in this game because they have every person in the in the show in this game except for Ginger. Uh, I don't know why. Like, what would have been adding one more person to this game? Yeah, that is really weird. It's kind of strange. Um... In any event, we're going to rescue her. I mean, all those people were just having us do these like little dumb errands for who knows what reason. Yeah, I think as we were talking, you had to go. Um, Mr. Hall noticed that there was like a stone tablet in a cave. So you collect it to bring it to the professor. Of course, that makes sense. He's the smart one. Um, and then you have to go back to Mr. Hall to bring a language textbook back. But Mr. Hall wants his golf ball first. So you have to go get the golf ball. You have to get the book, go back to the professor. Then the professor gives you the answer to life's questions, which is a club, because you just beat everyone up with a club. That's that's the only thing that really matters. So it's just a back and forth for, you know, no reason, really. Just, just to take the scenic route, take a look around the island. Well, we do have the club now to go beat some chief some chief butt so let's do it I'm gonna stand yes. in a very specific place and I'm gonna mash this button so this is this is the one boss where mashing does serve you well um, I've not figured out any better strat than that but it works Gilgan also looks seems like he's very helpful just kind of watching he doesn't really know what to do He's just stunned in disbelief. And he's been the beaten. Skipper's swinging. Got him. Drops the treasure chest. Well, we've got ropes if Gilligan runs away. I'm not going to worry about yeah. this too much. I think I think what just dropped was the uh, the key to open the cage that Marianne is in. So you have to... Now you have to go find that as Gilligan follows you around. Get through the quicksand. And there she is. And we get to... And we find her and we say, We got you. Now go cook us dinner. That's actually what they said. Nice, nice, wholesome, wholesome episode. So we could talk about the um, so yeah, this this woman native of, of the island. She fell in love with Gilligan. That's the story there. Uh, the history of the speed run, you know, the Gilligan community out there. Um, this game was originally run by none other than Darbian and Author Blues. You may have heard of celebs. them. Celebs. Those are celebs right there. They didn't do a lot with it. They just did a couple of days, figured out a route, did some runs of it. Um, I played this game myself. I thought it was kind of interesting and I thought it'd be fun to do a run. And, uh, I got one together and I did some minor improvements to their roots and, uh, I got the world record and that was about it. And then probably two years later or so, um, Shaddy, Shaddy Games had the exact same experience. He saw someone play it, thought it looked interesting, figured out a route, played it, got the world record. So that brought me back into it, and we started going back and forth, um, finding little improvements here and there. We kind of shared shared our uh, strats. Rope! Um, Hope for rope. 
we found some good strats. So we ended up, uh, once he started running the game, we ended up dropping the world record by over four minutes, by like four and a half minutes, just from like really minor improvements and just playing, you know, just completely wild, like ditching Gilligan at every turn, hoping for a rope at every single drops location. And, uh, having it mostly work out finally to get that sub 30 minute run. Yeah, that, that sub 30 uh, minute oh, time Gilligan. was the... Oh, he's going, he's running. Oh, I'm gonna go. Gone. I'm gonna go back for him just to show, so see if this app, this, it's never happened before. He ran into the pit. He ran into the pit. And I did a practice run right before this and he ran, no, Gilligan, watch, is he? <laughs> no, don't fall. I just wanna like, <laughs> oh, he fell. This is why, like, <laughs> you can just imagine you're on a good run, and that's the kind of kind of crap that he pulls. Okay, he's good. He's, he's not. So normally I would just keep he's going, and like I would just you know use the rope, but let's not go crazy here. All right. I mean, this yes. game does this game does really recreate the show. Like, I mean, Skipper was always yelling at Gilligan. He was so upset all the time, and this game makes you feel the same way. All right, this is where I got to do my. Uh, da 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 strat here. I can't okay, we got, we got the da 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 strat yeah, coming I, up. It's I, very intense da 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 strat. Yeah, I'll, I'll lose Gilligan if I don't go. Okay, I did it. If I just well ca done. if I well just done. casually well enter there, Gall Gilligan will go the wrong way. He's slow in the water. Everything goes bad. So we did it. We're good. Yeah. So this is this is episode three. Basically, what's going on is I guess the uh, professor found. Well, I wanted some more of the mysterious stone tablets that were found. So finding them, they think that. It can make a map um but you know instead of just finding the stone tablets to maybe get a map and use the map for something the beginning of the episode starts with you getting a bathing suit from mrs howell and bringing it to marianne and then getting chased around so yeah always shenanigans yeah i don't understand exactly why they can't just talk to each other um <laughs> Are you kidding me, Gilligan, right now? Oh, that's the spot. He does not like going Dude, he past is so there. mad at this guy. And he goes, he went in the pit again. Unbelievable. A stereotypical, you know, marathon. This has never happened before. <laughs> happening like three times. Impressive. It's a real marathon run now. It's officially a marathon run. But yeah, I know. All I know is that anyone that, anyone that, has a, a speed run, a, a good time somewhere. Hope that Aaron doesn't play your game. Because Aaron is known to only do one run and gets world record. <laughs> That's true. I've he's, never completed a, a an actual game. speed run of this and not have it been world record. But so, I mean, I've so, always said, like, morning, you what, all. what's the point of finishing a run if it's not world record? I mean, come on. Seriously, guys. We all can agree on that, right? I mean, think of the people he beat. He beat, I mean, he beat Author Blues. He beat Darby in. And then someone shaddy was challenging him. You just take him down every time. So I'm, I'm afraid. I hope Aaron never wants to play any of the games that I play. No, I did play spot. I did play spot. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I got it first try. So watch out. We just we have the Gila God of gaming here. <laughs> All right. So these like cheetah tiger things. Okay. He didn't run away. I've had Gilligan run away like out of the pit right there for no reason. <laughs> Okay, but he didn't, so we're good. Okay, so we're going back to talk to Marianne. So if you're playing this like on your own the first time, you basically just kind of it tells you where like one person is, and you walk around and you talk, you find them, you talk to them, and they tell you to find somebody else. You end up, you basically just explore the entire map until you find everybody. Um, then typically you'll run out of time, and you have to do it again. But then not, you'll at least know where stuff is. All right, so I got to mash on this one because we're going to the pit. Mash! Ah! Okay, so you may not realize that on all these quicksand and waterfalls, I'm mashing my brains out, and it does make you go faster, so... Um, and I'm not a great masher, so if you're a good masher, this could be the game for you. I'm telling you, don't go up against Aaron. He'll break your dreams. Crush him. Crush him. It does. It does seem like a funny, silly. I like the music. It's a, it's a nice, nice, silly game, right? And just have I some don't tigers like running it. after you. I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dumb game, but you know, I kind of do like it. It doesn't have a lot of replay value or anything, but um, 
I'm gonna wait for him to talk, okay. We're not gonna do anything crazy. I'm gonna go, so you don't have to hear the beeping. We'll go ahead and just... So each, each level, they start you with two foods and two ropes. Um, oh, here's a big mash segment. Ugh, okay. Um, so you, you, you always have two foods and two ropes to start each level. Um, the, the way the drops work is it's, it's based on like frames. So there's not really a way to, um, uh Oh, uh Oh, Gillian. Let's, okay. There's not really a way to manipulate right it or anything. Um, like when you're walking, when, when the screen is scrolling, it'll just show up or it won't. Um, the best I can tell is it's, it's probably something like a one, a one in eight chance to get a rope, a one in eight to get the hourglass, which gives you time, um, and a one in eight to get food, and then, and then like five and eight you get nothing. That it was that's that's roughly what I came up with. Um, so for the most part you're just getting nothing. So anytime you get a rope, it's pretty great, and that's what makes um, the the current world record so good is you basically got a rope at every turn it was great okay yes yeah, so as you can see skipper yet again has his weapon of choice the club with this club we're gonna fight a bear why are we fighting the bear because he has a stone tablet part of a map so we got to go beat the bear up okay okay boars okay yeah they're they're, they're coming after you yeah, so it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of back and forth. Each episode is a little bit longer than the previous. So I mean, you could say, you know, it's a bit of a walking simulator here. Is this? Dude, I this think is, this is the prequel to Death Stranding. This is the I original think. Death was Stranding there? right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look at this timing. I got. I got him in a lock in a locked loop. This bear doesn't know what to do, and he's dead. Bear down. Bear down. Bear down for finals. Yeah, Rip Baloo. I barely I won. Ha! All right, Ooh. so here, I'm going to let you see this cutscene here. So we found the stone tablets. We're putting them together. What could it be? And it's a dinosaur drawing sign that Gilligan made <laughs> that he forgot about. Oops. Oh. That's a pretty drawing. That's oh, nice. Gilligan. Yeah, get get those bears bear puns bear puns out there now. Yeah, get them out, get them out. All right, guys, time is flying by. We are now into the final episode. This is the longest level. Yeah, so we just spent three episodes basically thinking that finding these stone tablets was going to make a map, and that turns out to be a drawing. So what what left is there for our our heroes to do? Okay, well, so it's apparently very important. in episode four, Gilgan walks away here. Very important. They just had a converse, They had a conversation behind his back. Um, mm. So yeah, they want to find. There's some tablet or something that will grant them a wish. Um, if they find it, and they didn't tell Gilligan that that's what's going on because he'll screw it up like he screwed everything else up, even though none of this has been his fault. Um. Poor Gilligan. So just, just, just remember that sequence that he doesn't know. He's been kept in the dark. All right. Anytime he goes, you can wait for him to come up, the, to come back down the tree. But that is just super slow. Yeah. So this, in this last, this fourth episode, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of enemies, a lot of animals trying to take down skipper there's you know hopefully hopefully it doesn't take aaron doesn't take too many hits doesn't yeah. have to really use too much food because so, it can yeah, get this, can get this level hairy. this level so you, every time i go down um i'm gonna go and use the foods here every time i go down this waterfall i lose a half a heart um but it is faster so of course you're gonna do that uh so you're kind of you know working against it from the very beginning on getting damage and unfortunately this level is really tough, including the final boss. So if you don't get any food drops, um, it's going to be really dicey. Um, this is probably the most, the scariest level just for that reason. Because you can always, you know, get a rope. You can always walk back and get Gilligan if you really have to. Um, but if you run out of health, 
you're dead. So we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. The, uh, oh, That's there we go. Five. Boom. One food drop should be Bananas. enough. There we Although go. I'm not playing great, so let's let's hope for another. That would be even better. The rat over there scaring Gilligan. It's fine. I I I have I have faith that Gilligan will lead you through these tough times. All right, so we're gonna go rescue uh, Mrs. Howell, Marianne, Mrs. Howell. Yes, Mrs. Howell was the one that was kidnapped. So yeah, we have to rescue. Howell. Right, so we're gonna rescue her. We got this Gilligan. You gotta be kidding. Me. All right, so we're gonna have another one of these fights where you just mash and beat him up so that he frees Mrs. Howell. How's everybody doing? Are you guys liking this marathon so far? Are you guys loving this marathon? I hope you liked Apollo Block last night. We got another Apollo Block today. Oh, so many Apollo Blocks. Who needs? Who needs? Who needs Andy? Oh, we kind of had we kind of had three block. Apollo Blocks with you <laughs> filling time. True, there was an improv night. one. Improv. It, improv. You sure seemed ready for it. I don't believe that was improv at all. Improv. That was, that, that was prepared. Mm. All right, so we're gonna talk to Mr. Hal. Th this sequence. I mean, they 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 just run out of ideas about what they could have you do. Um, they're like, they, there's no pretense anymore. It's just yeah, they're just. <laughs> it's like, hey, can you go talk to this person for this stupid reason? Okay, and I'm then you just pretty go, sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what just happened is that Mr. Hall gave you a check for a million dollars, and did. then you actually go to Marianne, and then she makes a fire by burning the check that was written for a million dollars. So. But again, I mean, what good is money here? Yeah, this is... All right, so this whole segment here is going to be... All right, guys, get out of my way, okay. Oh, they um, stop. They we started, we started the loop. This, this, we got a rope. Um, the way this level ends up working with who you talk to uh, you know in theory you would talk to other people there's you know they tell you to go talk to the professor there's a whole other section of this map it's a pretty big map um but in reality you know we kind of figured out all you really need to do is talk to marianne and then all you have to and then go back and talk to mr howell and then go talk to marianne and go talk to mr howell so this this level becomes just this big big loop going back and forth and you have to do it three times. Yeah, so, so we're just doing, was, we're just doing laps one. around laps around the island. Just out for a nice jog. And again, I, I'm not sure if... I mean, Aaron might have said it, but there's a couple times you have to get Gilligan to fall into the, uh, into the pit first before you go. Otherwise, you lose him. So you kind of just force him down. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I, I suppose will. that's intentional because you do need him to go with you. It, it's weird to, like, just lead him into a pit, but. And this kind of like is, a, uh, a Lemmings situation. This game is surprisingly hard to, like, the, the screen loads and you're playing. And you have to be ready to do, it, it's kind of, it reminds me of Solstice. Like, you need to know, <laughs> don't laugh. I didn't laugh. They both have this, they both have the same amazing music, the same great level design. Um, no, I mean, but if as, I had as, to think as soon as you walk into the next room, you got to be ready. You have to know what it is, or you're wasting time. If you if you're holding right or left, or you're, you're pressing the wrong direction, you're wasting time. And there's so many screen turns, and it would really add up. So, no, no, I, I, I think I would agree. This is probably harder than Solstice. I think that's what you were trying to say, and I completely agree. Oh sweet! Someone, someone broke the timer. That's excellent. We're gonna Ooh, pretend like record it. pace. This that, is a spicy pace. It, it, oh, he ran away. Well, that's fine. We've got ropes. So this yeah, is like this is the spot. level. Like he can run away so easily in this level, and you know these are the longest runs from place to place in this entire game. So each one, like you really want a rope for each one. Um, so you'd be wasting ropes pretty often, and uh, him turning around to run away like that is—it's just—it's just a killer. 
Okay, and if you look, that that waterfall seems familiar and again. And he just ran away again. I think I'm going to go goes. back and get him because I'm down to one rope. And uh, things can go really bad if... Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's good. Save save your little buddy. Save your little buddy. He was getting attacked by the headhunters. All right, here we go. Okay, and then this is a familiar spot again. We're going to force Gil again to go into the pit. See right now. Okay, we've got a, a pie right now, right? So we're bringing we're bringing a pie to Mr. Howell. They're trying to they're trying to find some like magical wish making tablet. And right now they're they're we're we're trading pies. The question is, what type of pie? What do you think? Well, what do you think? It, it would could, be I think the it, it could be pie? it could be key I mean, lime. Oh, it could be key, key lime. lime. Pie. Maybe with on the island. I mean, it says key cream somehow. It says key, and like it really may be key lime. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Does anybody know why are his brakes so bad? Does anybody know what's up with bat with bad brakes? Rope. Okay. We got the rope. I don't know. That's a good question. I guess the, I guess the brakes have always just been bad. Yeah, I think I think the timer. I it's think our fixed? host oh, added. I think they must have added some time to make. I, I don't know. I don't trust that. I think I think we're still on world record pace. That's what I think. That's what I think. Well, my timer didn't start, so I have no idea what we're at. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Okay, so how many how many loops has it been? I think this is this the is last the third one. Loop? Yeah, I, think I think this is the, the last loop. loop. Yeah. Time is flying. Um, I mean, this music isn't great, but it does give me a good feeling because, like, this is the last music you hear in the run, and it, it's kind of it's just it, like it makes you it just it gives you those feelings of like, yeah, man, this is the end of the game. You're about to go finish the game, which means you're about to get a new world record. It brings back good feelings, you know, this this little whistle part. So just thinking, just think, oh, rope. Okay, we're going to ditch Gilligan, all right? See, okay. I can look right now. I've got Get a cross. It. So I went and I talked to um, Mariana, and I was like, hey, do you have, because there's a boss here that you can't injure. And she's like, I was like, do you have something I could use? She's like, oh, yeah, I've got this, like, curse-breaking cross. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, actually, I do. And uh, so she gives it to me. So if you ditch Gilligan, your timer, um, as you can see, it, it goes down to two minutes. So they give you two minutes to get Gilligan back, or your timer runs out. Yeah, so that's scary. Um, but one thing is, if I'm fast enough here, I can get to the boss from where I ditched Gilligan. I can get to the boss. I can beat the boss before this timer runs out. Yeah, so this um, is this I, is gonna be this is gonna be we're gonna be sweating a bit. Make sure I, we I have it, I have a rope. Time. If I call him in on the rope. He'll come in. It'll be all be good. But I don't have to. So this is a uh, you know this is this is like a uh, if you if you're if you're on pace. I do have a rope right here. Okay, Ooh, another rope too. Yeah, I'm not even gonna yeah, pick it up. Ropes. I'm not even gonna pick it up because we. Got he doesn't money. even need it. He doesn't need it. It's like if you're if you're on pace, you're just like uh, I gotta go for it right now. Go. I actually think I will. You call him because it's super close, but. It can be done. We're gonna we're gonna try it. I can always I can always pull the uh, pull the cord. Right, here's the final boss. All right, Here we this go. is really tricky we to. Uh, oh, we got it. He's got a time. He's got to got get him in the lock. Got him in the lock. I think it takes 15 hits, and the skeleton's destroyed. So we gotta pray. It is we so hard to get that first RNG to get that sure first hit. Have is much so hard. Life. Oh. Not much life. He's got it. Watch the timer. Down. Watch the timer. Yeah, locked up. It's getting close. 20 seconds left. Uh-oh, 15. Oh, boy. It's close. This is going to be a photo finish. We did it. Time. With 10 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. We got to make you sweat. The Gila God of Gaming has done it again. All right, so they get the, they get the tablet. It's all good. They've got the tablet. They're ready to make the wish. And Gilligan's here, and everybody's like, "All right, now's the time." And and 
Gilligan's so happy. He's, hey, I sure wish I had some ice cream about now. I could eat a mountain of it. And everybody's like, Gilligan. And he, uh, he spawned like a big mountain of ice cream. He wasted their wish. They're stuck on the island. They're never getting out. And that's it. And that's it. That I will let you guys see the credit. The, the best, the, the, honestly, the best music in this game is after this part right here. The credits music is pretty good. Will the castaways ever get off the island? Stay Question? tuned. Well, they never made another one of these, and I don't think they made another movie either after this point, so we'll never know. Well, I mean, you know, there's there's been some new games coming out for the Switch. Maybe the uh, sequel to this comes out on the uh, Switch soon. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, man, put this Maybe. on the, put this on the Switch, man. People want to play this game. People want to play it. I feel like after sh you showing this off, I think the leaderboard is going to. Uh, I don't think so. Go crazy. <laughs> go crazy. Just oh man, Gilgan running away one time is usually enough for people. Here, I'll turn it up a little bit. And then we're just kind of seeing scenes from uh, the skipper beating everyone up with the club. Paul, this music is really good, and you're, you're just talking over it. Oh, uh, I will not talk. Isn't that just feel good, guys? End. <laughs> the end. Not just a end. The no, end. it's it's the end. <laughs> And <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I believe next is Cananaphone playing like a million amazing games. So you do oh, not want to miss that. That's a Cananaphone thing if I've heard. But yeah, that will be pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks like Clax is Clax is the first one. So who doesn't love Clax? All right. Yeah. Stick around for best of NES. Peace, guys. For another day or two or three or forever. Thanks, Apollo. Yeah, thank you. See ya.